New at six, one of Nashville's oldest Catholic churches has been under construction ever since those March 3rd tornadoes blew through Nashville a year and a half ago. And today, parishioners got the chance to see an important piece of the church restored. Yeah, News for Daniel Jackson was there. It's a landmark, certainly. The Church of the Assumption has been in the Germantown community since the 18th century. It was hard for us to see it come down, but seeing it go back up is kind of a sign that things are coming alive again. Several witnessed the moment the steeple took its place again after the church was heavily damaged in the March 2020 tornado. Wednesday, parishioners watched in anticipation and documented the moment. This is a very special place because it's the, the locus for the Latin Mass, the old Mass in the Diocese of Nashville. So it's a place where the oldest treasures of the church and of Christianity are practiced today. The steeple going up is a sign of resilience, something they want those who have been impacted by the recent tornadoes to know. Even in the midst of Tennessee and Kentucky and Illinois and Arkansas and wherever there's been devastation in recent days, that they can find hope in these kind of moments. Yes, we have to grieve. We have to uh, mourn the passing of loved ones and to restart again but we are a people of faith, hope, and love, and we can do this together. The bishop blessed the cross before it went on top of the steeple and placed a relic of St. Rock inside. And he's the patron saint of um, pandemics, basically. And so uh, it's kind of like having that there means that it's a sign we'll have his prayers. Once the cross was constructed in place, the crowd cheered. The moment neighbor Stan Scarler was glad to see. And it's so great, especially for the people of this church to have their steeple going back up. You know, they've redone their roof, and it's just a symbol of rebuilding of, of Germantown after that's the tornado. In Nashville, I'm Danielle Jackson, News 4 Nashville.